Hey, this is Wilson with guestgrow.com and I'm working on a project right now to bring zero fee restaurant online ordering. And currently restaurants pay anywhere from $100 per month per location to up to 30% per order and that really eats into their margins. Now, the way I got this idea is because I currently use WordPress to bring to make restaurant funnels and bring foot traffic to restaurants and I think that there's another side to WordPress where we can use it as an e-commerce store using WooCommerce and have a free online ordering for these restaurants. Um, I went over a bunch of other plugins and in my other videos and how I adapted those plugins to be for restaurant online ordering. Currently what I'm working on right now is adding tip um, to the checkout page. And so um, there are a lot of different ways to add tip that I found and a lot of different plugins that support those ways. The very first way, um, or basically what I wanted to end it up end up with was a field on the checkout page where people can enter in a custom tip amount and I found out that the options were very very limited for that. Um, so the other ways that I tried were doing an order bump with a checkbox and the very last one uh, was an upsell after they check out. Okay? And so I, I tried to review every single way uh, to add tips to the checkout page and I'm going to start with the very first one here which is Booster for WooCommerce. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and activate this. And um, just for a little bit of context, if you don't know about Booster for WooCommerce already, they basically enhance your WooCommerce experience by adding a bunch of features um, to WooCommerce. And in order to get to the Booster settings, you can hover over WooCommerce on the left, and then you can click on Booster settings. <clears throat> Now you're going to see all these tabs on the top here and um, all the features that they have in these blue links here. And the one that I'm looking for to set up some kind of like fee or tip is this cart and checkout area. <clears throat> and as I scroll down, I can see that there's checkout fees here. So I'm going to click on the settings for that. And I'm going to enable the module. First, before I enable this and save the changes, I want to show you what my checkout page looks like right now. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. And again, what I'm looking for is some kind of field or checkbox or something that can add uh, an amount of tip. And I would probably want it after the total right here or before the credit card payment, um, somewhere that's easy and prominent for the customer to add, okay? So let's go back to the settings here and see what we can do. So it gives me an option of adding fee number one and I can enable or disable it. I can make it taxable. Um, and let's see, I can name it right here. I can also make it either a fixed number or a percentage. Fixed is probably just like a $1, $2, or $3 tip, whereas percentage you can make it like a 5%, 10%, 15% tip, for example. So I'm gonna go with the fixed option for now and just go with uh, like three, for example. And for this title, instead of fee number one, I'm gonna name it tip. And I want to see what happens here. So I'm gonna click on save changes. Then go to my checkout page and I'm going to refresh it to show you uh, what those settings actually did. Okay. So I can see my order on the right side here. And I can see that a $3 tip was automatically added. Okay. But that doesn't really fit what I wanted to do. This looks like it's just a predetermined fee and I have no choice of changing the tip. If I want to change, give less, give more. Um, it doesn't, there, there's not even a selection to choose between $1, $2, or $3. Um, Nevertheless, I can't even input my own um, tip amount either. So I don't think that this plugin works for us. So I'm going to go ahead and disable this module uh, by clicking on that checkbox right there. Click on save changes and I'm going to deactivate this plugin and move on to the next one. So in my plugins area, I'm going to go to booster and deactivate that. Then I'm going to go to uh, the next plugin that I found for this. <clears throat> so the next plugin that I found is this one. Okay. So this one is actually, so you know what, I'm going to go in order. So this one is actually a one click upsell. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that and, and go towards all the fees first, because I want to show you all the plugins that uh, were able to add fees to the line items instead of doing upsells or, or um, order bumps. All right. So the next one is right here by, uh, so it's Woo Add Custom Fee by WP Expert, Expert CEO. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate that one and see what that one does. 
Let's go to the checkout page and see where we are again and see if that tip is still showing. And it looks like it's not showing and uh, this is back to our regular checkout page. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and see what we can do in terms of fees now. So I'm going to hover over WooCommerce and see if the fees are here. Maybe if they're not, then we can scroll back down to where we installed that fee plugin and see where the settings are. Let's see if we can find the settings somewhere. So it's under WooCommerce and it's under custom fee tab. Okay, so WooCommerce and go to the dashboard. Uh, let's go to, sorry, let's go to settings. Okay, here, here we go. Custom fee right here. Okay, let's see what this does. So we can enable it just like that booster plugin. We can label it and name it tip just like what we did in the booster plugin. And we can do a charge. So like one, two or three. Um, taxable tip is usually not taxable. <clears throat> and that's all we can do here. So th this looks like it's just another fixed fee type of thing. We can't even add percentage. Uh, yet alone, we can't even input our own tip or select from different numbers of tips. And so if I refresh this checkout page here, yep, it's just a $1 predetermined tip. So this isn't what we're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and uh, disable this. Go back to plugins and deactivate this whole thing. Okay. <clears throat> so there's another uh, Woo Extend Fee plugin down there. Uh, I'm going to activate this by Woo Extend and see what that one does. Okay, I think this one is probably also in settings as well. Custom fee. Okay, and there's also an enable checkbox here. We can do the title. It looks like the same exact thing as what we just did, actually. Uh, we can do a fix or percent on this one, which is just like the booster. Um, there's conditions, but there's still no way to add uh, separate options of tips. Um, or even inputting your own. So I'm just gonna go ahead and save changes here and show you what this looks like. And it should look exactly the same because we put tip $1 and that's what it is here. Okay, no selection for tip and no way to enter your own custom tip. Okay, so let's go ahead and disable this and get rid of this plugin. I'm gonna go down and disable it. Right here, Woo Custom Fee Disable. Okay, let's go to the next one. So it looks like there's a bunch of plugins that literally do the exact same thing. But again, we're looking for the one where there's different options of tips um, somewhere on the checkout page, as well as the option to input your own tip if possible. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna go to is, uh, well, it looks like there's a, there's a good amount of these that we're gonna go through. So this one is WooCommerce Additional Fees on Checkout, the free version by WP Superiors. And the way I get to that is probably hover over WooCommerce. Here's additional fees right here. Okay, so there's an enable or disable right here, which is good. There's a label. Okay, which it doesn't look like we can we can change because it's only available with the premium version, and that's not what we want. We can do fix or percentage. Uh, okay, so this says, this one says auto checked or auto applied. Okay, interesting. So maybe there is a check mark for this one. Let's just go ahead and uh, save these changes and see what we can do here. So I'm going to refresh our checkout page. Okay, so it doesn't look like I, I don't see any fees here just yet. Uh, maybe there's something that we missed. Amount one, auto check, auto applied. Okay, so I'm going to click on enable for this auto checked and auto applied and click on save changes. Then see uh, if it gets applied to my refresh cart. Okay, so here we go. So, and we can't even change this to see, to, to say tip. It only says gift wrap. Let's see what happens if I just try to change it. Yeah, it just goes back to gift wrap. Okay, and when I refresh the page, it still says gift wrap. So, so this one by WP Superiors is probably not the plugin that we're looking for. I'm gonna go back and disable it. I'm gonna search for WP Superiors. Here we go. That's much, much faster. Okay, and deactivate that one. Okay, so where are we right now? Okay, so we just finished WP Superiors. This one is another one by Multidots. Let's see if that does what we want to do. I'm gonna activate it. 
I'm going to skip this. I don't want to share any data with them just yet until I know that they can do what I want it to do. And um, okay, so hmm, it looks like we can probably add multiple product fees here. Let's see if that's 100% true. Um, so let's do this. Uh, product fee title, let's do tip. Fee type, okay, we do fix or percentage. And then we can do a dollar there. We could even do a start date or end date, which is pretty interesting, but I don't think we need that. Uh, taxable, no, and let's click on save. Then let's refresh this checkout to see what happens here. So we can do tip for a dollar, okay, but there's still no way to choose between different types of fees or tips and no way to put in our own. And let's see if we can add um, other ones now. Let's do uh, add product fees here and see if we can do another one. Tip number two, maybe. And then we'll put $2 here because we want them to be able to choose between a dollar or $2. Okay, it doesn't seem like this would give them the selection. It actually just seems like it adds on top. Yep, here we go. So, so you can add multiple here. There's a little bit more functionality compared to the plugins that uh, we just talked about. But again, it doesn't do exactly what we wanted to do. Um, it doesn't fit into um, selecting or inputting your own tip. Okay, so we're gonna just uh, delete this plugin or we're gonna deactivate this plugin because it doesn't do what we want it to do. But it did have the best functionality uh, from all the plugins that we looked over so far. Okay, so by multi dots, we're gonna just deactivate that. Okay. Um, here's another one by Hem Singh. Okay, so I'm going to activate this one by Hem Singh and see what happens there. WooCommerce. Um, let's see if there's something in the settings where we can play with that plugin. It doesn't seem like it. I'm going to go back to the plugin and see if there was anything there in terms of changing the settings. To payment gateway standard. Okay, so I. I think that this is probably uh, like a conditional extra charge, like only if you're using Stripe or only if you're using cash on delivery that it adds extra charges. So we're just going to deactivate that because I don't think that um, it fits what we need. So there's one more um, for, there's a couple more actually. So this one is by Terry saying uh, extra WooCommerce extra fee option. Let's go ahead and activate that one and hover over WooCommerce, go to extra fee option there. And so it looks very similar. There's enable, we can label it tip. We can do the amount, fix or percentage, not taxable, mix minimum order zero. It looks like the same exact functionality as all the ones before. And I don't think this one's gonna help us either. Yep, no way to select or input our own tip. Okay, so all these plugins that we've reviewed so far basically do the same exact thing and uh, they don't do exactly what we want them to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and deactivate that one. Um, now the next plugin I believe is does exactly what we wanted to do, um, but there is one caveat to that, and I'm going to go over that with you. So let's go to WooCommerce tip donation. This one's by PHP Radar. I'm going to go ahead and activate that. Okay, hover over WooCommerce and then click on tip slash donation. And uh, these are some settings that I already had uh, from previously installing this, but if it's not enabled, you can click on enable. And then you can put display on cart or checkout. We don't have a cart anymore because in one of my previous plugins, we actually disabled the cart. Um, and you can put it uh, in any position actually, which is really, really cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and um, put it, let's see, before payment if possible, or after the order summary. Uh, let's do before order total right here, okay? Uh, actually, oh, that's only for cart page position. So that doesn't really matter. It's not gonna show on the cart anyway. Uh, for checkout, we can do like, uh, okay, before payment, I think is where I want it. And then you can do um, the button label. You can uh, add the fee title, which is what we did for the other plugins. Um, and then there's a bunch of these other things, which um, honestly, at first, I wasn't very sure what all these fields did when I input them. But I'm going to click on save settings and show you right now what it looks like on the front end. So we can get a good grasp on what this looks like together. Okay. All right, so here it is. And this is actually really cool. So it, there's actually um, a, a field where we can put in tip. And uh, this one says $158 tip, which would be amazing for any restaurant. I'm sure they would be very happy about that. But okay, there's something that happened really cool. I just changed it to one and it, it changed this tip field automatically. If I change it to three, 
and click on this add tip. Then I think it updates to three. Awesome. Okay. And then these are pre-selectors, I believe. So if I click on five, then it'll change to five, seven, change to seven. Okay. Awesome. I think this does exactly what we need. Okay. So there's one thing I want to do here and show you the caveat. Um, I'm going to show you why, uh, I ended up going with this plugin, but I had to make a little bit of modification to it on the back end uh, with some coding, pro coding help from someone else. But I'm gonna uh, place this order and show you what happened here. Okay, so this is um, the order summary that we get after. And usually what happens, um, I actually already fixed this plugin, but usually what happens is it says that there was a fatal error on your website. Um, and after the fix, it goes uh, normal again. So if you try to um, install and activate this plugin, you can get all the features that I just showed you. But when you do a test checkout, it'll just say fail error. Um, I did make the modification like I told you, and I'm gonna put a link to that modified plugin down below so that you can download and install the modified one that actually works and doesn't show this fatal error, okay? <clears throat> I'm gonna go back to C menu. Um, and then I'm gonna go back to the settings of this and so uh, just as a review so you can actually put um, a fee message which is select or type tip let me show you where that is real quick so we're at the checkout page now and then uh, this notice will be right here select or type tip and then you can uh, put a default amount so by default it'll say three okay <clears throat> and then um, you can do taxable or not which tips are usually not taxable and then you can enable input mode, which is this field right here, which is really cool. And then if you don't want them to enter in their own tip, then you can just do a predefined amount, enable it with this check mark here. Then you can separate all the predefined amounts by commas here. Let's see how many we can actually do. I wanna put $100 as one of the predefined tips. Oh, we can do a, okay, so we can do at least five for sure. I don't wanna fill this up too much because usually giving the customer too many options is information overload for them. But let's just change this tip to three. Let's click on the hundred to see if that works. All right. So this is this is awesome. Okay. This does exactly what we want to do. All right. Um, and uh, so this this is the one you want to go for is tip slash donation by PHP Radar. And um, yeah, if you found any other free plugins that you think does exactly what I wanted to do. Um, and I didn't review in this video, then go ahead and comment below. If you think that there was something I'm missing in my analysis, then also please let me know. Um, I'm, I'm in a learning state right now. And if this video was helpful for you in choosing a plugin, a free plugin that can activate tip and donations for you on your WooCommerce checkout page, go ahead and like and subscribe. And uh, if anything, I'll see you on the next video.